Alrighty folks, welcome back to the Mavericks Dynasty 2. We got San Diego State. They are ranked number 9. They are 9-0. and And on the little thing there, on a roll, can the Aztecs and UT Arlington's winning streak at 7? I mean, why are you going against us? We're, we're the underdogs. They've won like 20,000 games in a row. And last season, they absolutely destroyed and humiliated us. I think the score was something like 55-7. to So we're going to have to try to get revenge here, but this team does scare the life out of me. Look at the San Diego State defense. These guys are legendary. Fifth against the pass. Fifth in points allowed. This is going to... Oh, this is going to be a scary game. And this is basically going to determine who goes to the conference championship. If we lose again, I'm going to the independent conference because screw San Diego State. I'm tired of it. And Kenneth Bray gets clobbered, but he gets the six. Third down. Oh, my God. Yep, that's why I shouldn't be scrambling. San Diego State is a god-tier team. It's away and it's a booming puck. Oh, wow. Oh, it goes into the end zone. That's probably the longest punt I've ever seen because their returner was being stupid. Yeah, we're probably going to get shredded on defense, but there's nothing much we can do. He's going to scramble out. We cannot make a tackle. Carlos Atkins going for the ball. I did put strip the ball on aggressive because, I mean, we can't tackle anyway, so we might as well try to get a turnover. And we just wrap him up. McPherson going for the strip again. Negative four. What a play by Jamal McPherson, one of our best recruits. We just stuffed the crap out of that one. Oh my goodness, and we missed 17 tackles. John Gray brings him down. That is frustrating. We should have had him for only about a five-yard gain, and he's instead just wrecks us. And we force him inside, still get six. Yeah, I know we can't get a stop, but it would just be so nice. Oh my god, he throws it away immediately, and we actually do get a stop. Jake is wide open down the field if Harvey hits him. Jake, and he doesn't even have to die for it. He's going to make a move, get tackled. Huge 48-yard gain. I put Jake on just a little streak, essentially, out of the backfield, and he got absolutely wide open. That was a pretty throw. And we finally get some blocking going. Chance will get 10. And they send a blitz and Crenshaw picks it up. Can he get in the end zone? No, he's going to crumble at the inch yard line. Uh, they sent literally everybody and I, I luckily audibled Crenshaw on a slant before the play and that was just a perfect counter. Yep, easy. Jake does get hit, but he will get the zero yard touchdown. That was a great drive. We started off looking a little rusty, but this drive was very telling of this team's potential. Run it. Oh my goodness, who was that? Deshaun Hall just absolutely flattened uh, Keegan Williams. That's a weird spelling of Keegan, but somebody must have been dyslexic when they were naming him. And we're sending the blitz. Can he get there? No, this guy j jumps off of it. I take that crap out of here and punt that ball. I make a user tackle, which is rare to see ever. Look at that. 52 mil. Oh my god, he tries to truck him. And look at me over here with 91. Wham! Goodbye. Flipped his ass over. His head, that was incredible shit. And they send a blitz. Hudson Henry just runs a man over. Easy little dump off, 16 yards. But our blockers hold up, and Jake will get us enough for the first. That's all we needed. And they send a blitz. Hudson Henry runs a man over. Oh my god, and he fumbles it. Man, we had a good thing going, too. Make that tackle, please. Nope. Oh, my God. Man, this looks even worse than when we have uh, tackling on conservative. We might need to just put that back on, but... And are we going to get the sack? Yes, we are. Deshaun Hall brings him down for eight. What a great play by Deshaun Hall. Young man is really flourishing in this defense. Carlos misses it, but... Screen. Let me get this tackle, please. Please, please, John Harley. Yes, nice tackle, Jonathan. 
He is probably the most sure tackler on this team. He is a, just a great little pasty white dude. He is looking like he is afraid of the sun, but uh, that'll be a field goal. I wonder if they have the leg for this, though. Kicks away. And he, just he does not have the leg for it. Alvarez is going to take a little maneuver here. Oh my god, no way that dude just caught up. That is a tight end that just caught me. That is some bullshit, NCAA 14, you pieces of garbage. Alvarez hits him with a nice move. 74, make that block, sir. 85. Oh my god, Krenny, if you could have held onto that block, I think Jonathan Harley would have been running all the way down the field like Forrest Gump, but he could not hold on to it. Still a big gain. Adam Wayne just absolutely got wide open, and he freaking jukes that man out of his shoe. This white man has been out of the game because we got so many receivers above him, but Adam Wayne is one of those clutch players that he, he is going to come in and do great things, and it's, I'm so glad to see it. I hope he doesn't try to transfer, but I, I'm hoping to get him more involved next season. And finally, some good, great blocking for Jake, and he just is bulldozing forward. And they block perfectly, even though they send a little bit of heat. Jake will get five. Now they're playing zone. We don't got time. So Jonathan Harvey will just dance in. This man is so fast. John Harvey should have been a track star because he is just lightning at this quarterback position. This man is going to be having a lot of fun in the NFL, I think. Ooh, my God, that was rough. Come on, Mr. Mullins, bring him down. Oh my god, they had so much open shit right there. Oh my god, that was a beautiful route. This number 93 dude is still here, JR Justice. Why are you wearing the number 93? Are you trying to make us all vomit? Ooh, Jonathan Gray, why would you throw that? And Johnny Gray's got a little bit of room. Oh my god! Can I do this, man? Oh my god, John Gray. Oh! What has happened to Brett Favre's son? I gotta see the replay on that. That was crispy as hell. I mean, folks, let's just watch this. This guy last year dotted us up into oblivion. He looked like an NFL Hall of Famer, but today he just did not have a John Gray. Looks like he got, yep, just a bad throw. And John Gray. I wish I could have got all the way, but oh my god. And they're going to kind of screw me up there, but... Harvey will have enough. Let's get out of bounds. Ooh, nice block on the outside. Um, ooh, shit. Oh, Harvey breaks off a tackle. This man is a god, folks. Holy crap, John Harvey does not give a shit about anybody's families. He doesn't give about their will to live or anything. He is just on a mission today. Ben Culver here in. Let's do our thing, Benny. Oh, my God. Ben Culver. Culver. It's just so natural to say Culver, but he gets seven. I'm going to call a timeout here. Well, they didn't end up blitzing. I'll hit it to uh, Hudson Henry here. He will get the first down, run a man over. Uh, I don't think we should call this last time out. Let's try to get in here real quick. Hudson Henry, boy, get in there, son. Yes! Four-yard touchdown for the transfer, Hudson Henry. I should stop saying transfer because he's here now. He is a full-blown maverick. That'll give 50 touchdowns on the season and a 21-0 lead potentially going into the half. I got that route covered, and we bring him down. Sacked for negative three. They're going to have to hurry up here, call that timeout. I do not know what these crackheads are doing. And he has to just throw a stupid throw off his back foot. Orgy picks it off. That's another one. Orgy, get up, son. Stay up. Ooh, I did make him stay up, but he got tackled. That is the best half I've ever seen in Mavericks history. Against a top 10 contender team, San Diego State has is 9-0, folks. And they're going to go outside. Can we make the tackle? No. And they're going to run it. A little read option here. He hasn't done too much of that today. Uh, good tackle. I think that was Antonio Daniel to bring him out. Nine yards. And John Harley with a really good tackle. That is a strong running back that he just throw da threw down like a piece of garbage. I love to see it. That's the kind of aggression I want from this defense. Get me out of this. I feel like we need to just run commit. Uh, that, you gotta make that tackle, son. Great tackle, Carlos Atkins. Third and seven. Let's see what they got dialed in for us. 
And he's getting... Oh, we did not have a spy. That is a great play. But Oh, he fumbled it. Oh, my God. He picked it up. I caused that fumble, too, with that user big hit. I think that was Jeremy Thompson who hit him. But they are lucky he picked that one up. Yeah, Jeremy Thompson wasn't playing there. He's trying to get into the NFL. He's undersized, but he wants it more than anybody I've ever seen. My goodness, that was so brutal. Oh, no tackling there. Oh, he does trip up. Thank God. Oh, they're going for a screen again. I'm here, but oh, he has to throw it away. Almost hit that cheerleader in the head. Almost sent her to the emergency room. That cheer male cheerleader threw her up, and that football almost went wham right to her head. And he has to throw it away again. Luckily, the cheerleader avoided it that time. Third and ten. One with a three-man front. I feel like they're going to pass it. Oh, they're going for a screen. Oh, we got absolutely nobody. What is this dude doing? Get him, Carlos, please. He literally just did a, a Mario hop on that one, and he does not get the first down. What do they got in store here? They're going to go for the field goal? That makes sense from a logistical standpoint. And Jake is smart. Ooh, with some little shifty moves. Gets us a first down. Keep that clock moving. Keep it moving. We need this top 10 victory. And they are getting weak to the run there. And Jake has a huge run. 17 yards. They're starting to break down. And Jake can feel it. Our running backs can feel it. The O-line can feel it. We are starting to wear these dudes down. And we got a ton of room. Triangle keep going, buddy. Crenshaw gets wide open on the slant. Huge play, 31 yards for Robert Crenshaw as his official name. Great blocking. Chance Fitzpatrick with a huge move gets 10. I probably could have kept going, but they sent the house on that one, and Jake gets the first down. They sent literally everybody, but they just had bad pursuit angles, and Mayo line is very strong today. First down, great carry by Jake, too. The Wildcat. I'll just run this in if you guys want me to do it that bad. Jonathan Harvey puts the dagger. What a play. 28-3. Great lead for us here. San Diego State has looked very lethargic today. They're just running the ball and don't have a ton of, of ability, it looks like. And they're still going with the run. They got a lot of ground to make up, but they are just choosing to run the ball. and not. Are they going to go hurry up? What are these dudes doing out here? Go into a little dump off, and oh my god, my linebacker, we just got emasculated on that play. Number 39, Stevie Robinson. And they try to run it again, and Jamal McPherson is a freak of nature. Another tackle for a loss for him. He is having himself an incredible day. Oh, and we suck. He went outside. Very smart. Chip Hines. Oh boy. Just, hey, at least we kind of tried to tackle him. Keegan Williams, great play by that young man. He just, that was all effort. Chip Hines was on drugs. I was on drugs. Great block in there by the O-line. Jake will take a nice little six-yard uh, play there. And they sent a blitz. So I just switched it to a Hail Mary. And they just, uh, they're telegraphing everything they're doing today. Great pass by Johnny Harvey. And Fitzpatrick should have been tackled for like a one-yard gain. Instead, gets seven out of it. Great block in there, and Jake will get us another first down. Trying this wildcat play here. Oh, my God. I think Triangle got wide open. Hudson Henry. That is embarrassing, honestly. Keith Alvarez, our receiver, who also can play quarterback. He was an athlete, just dotted you up. San Diego State is a shadow of their former selves. Ooh, look at me on that screen coverage. Jamiri and James, great play. Call that timeout, you little San Diego scumbags in your warm weather. And he is looking with some happy feet. Chip Hines, turn around, son. Oh my god. God, Chip Hines doesn't make the interception, tips it to himself and falls on the ground. Oh my God, Chip Hines, that was some glitchy NCAA crap, but he, we haven't heard much from little Chip Hines and him and his little fanny pack there. And Coach uh, Hilliard is on some kind of drugs. Oh my 
God, these guys are embarrassed. Jake gets another 12 yard run to end the game. Well, that's what I get for being stupid. But we were just screwing around, so it doesn't matter. They can take their little moral victory at the end of the game um, and shove it up their ass as far as I'm concerned. San Diego State, you guys are pieces of shit. And 46, you've done nothing. You will not make it in the NFL, so good luck to you, buddy. Yeah, it's personal with these San Diego State bastards. John Harvey, 10 for 13, 186 yards, three total touchdowns, a very efficient game. But we were mostly running. And stats on the day, Keith Alvarez, a receiver, one for one for four yards and the touchdown on that Wildcat play. This is why we brought him in, to be a little, you know, X-Factor and all that kind of crap. John Harvey, 10 for 13, 186 and one touchdown, zero picks. Trey Smith, two for two for 22 yards. Incredible day, efficient day passing. No interceptions by my stupidity, luckily. And Jake had 18 carries, 99 yards, 5.5 average, one touchdown. He was one yard away from a hundy. Harvey was 10 for 51 and two touchdowns. Chance Fitzpatrick, a solid day from the backup. Six carries, 34 yards. Ben Culver, one for seven, his annual carry. Hudson Henry, five catches, 40 yards, two touchdowns. Robbie Crenshaw, three for 65. Kenneth Bray, two for 10. Adam Wayne, one for 33. Alvarez, one for 16. And Jake had that huge play for, for 48 yards. And Chance Fitzpatrick gave up a sack, okay. And a pretty uh, all-around day for the defense. A bunch of guys making some tackles. But Deshaun Hall had two sacks. Incredible day from him. McPherson, two TFLs. These guys are absolute menaces on the D-line. Jamirian James got a TFL. Harley got a TFL. And Michael Mullins got one as well. Look at him. Three interceptions on the day. One for the safety orgy, one for Chip Hines, and one for 29 by Mr. John Gray. And Zach Thornton. Nice to see from our number four corner. He had a pass deflection, and Chip Hines had a deflection as well. And Jeremy Thompson forced the fumble. We unfortunately did not recover it. And it looks like Tony Thompson committed to UCLA. Um, him and his little mustache, so he can get out of here as far as I'm concerned. Go away, TT. Although, maybe we should schedule UCLA and just try to shut him down. Although, he is pretty fast. And we literally have nine people ready for visits. My god. I guess we can only put him on a bye. That sucks. Yeah, so for recruiting here, Nick Butler, we got him coming in for a visit this week. Um, we're 1,200 points behind Florida. I'm hoping we can extend this to the offseason, and then we can just throw literally 15,000 points at him. I don't care. I'll sell out the entire ranch for this dude. But for the most part, everybody else we're in the lead for, you know, except that dude. It's coming in Morton, Hayes, Anthony Wright, Drew Ross. Pretty much a lot of these guys we're going to get. We're just holding steady, and slow and steady wins the race, I guess. And the AP poll, we come in at 23. They like us just a smidge better, but it's good to be back in the top 25. And with that victory over San Diego State, we overtake them. We have the head-to-head -head win over them, and we are 6-0 in conference. They are 5-1. So uh, we do play another conference opponent, but I think we should have the, the West Division locked up. Let's take a look at what's going on in the mountainside. Looks like Air Force is 9 and 1, 5 and 1 overall. They are crap though. Air Force is 70 overall and they're 9 and 1. All right, so that game was just impressive. That's probably the best the Mavericks have ever played. That gets us into the top 25. We are ranked number 24, Kirk Herb Street, picking us to beat New Mexico Lobos. Um, we got five recruits coming in. Is this senior day? Yeah, this is. This is Senior Day, so that we're going to have to get our seniors and figure out who we're going to get involved for Senior Day, because um, we always like to get them involved in the last game if they're kind of a backup or something. Uh, so we'll do that next episode, and then it looks like we got at Air Force. So yeah, that'll do it for this video. Peace out.